Okay, uh, one of the growing methods we use is the fabric pots or buckets or aeration fabric pots or, uh, I mean, there's so many names, but basically they are just a container made out of a fabric. You put your, we use perlite. You can put peat moss mixes, potting soil, whatever in these. The reason we use these is the roots, when the plant gets going, they won't ball up in here. It's called air trimming. The air can get through here and the, the roots actually stop. They won't ball up. They, it, it really promotes really good uh, root growth. The other thing is very handy, very versatile. They're lightweight and inexpensive. This is a, a three gallon, good for peppers, cucumbers, um, you know, medium sized plants. We like to use a five gallon for tomatoes. Um, also, we like to use them for the eggplants. Um, they work in the three gallon as well. We've got some little quarter gallon and half gallon that we actually start plants in or another really good use and we're going to be, have, we'll have a whole video on this, is a herb garden. And you can actually just put this, put all your herbs in these, and have an entire herb garden just in your windowsill. These, you know, when you do put your material in here, it's not going to go through, so you're going to keep everything clean. We do these trees. These are some avocado trees that we put in. And they were about this big when we put them in. Oh, I'd say it's been six months or so. Just little sticks. And we put them in these 30 gallon. I mean, they come in all sizes. So this is a 30 gallon. And again, you're not gonna get root ball. You're not gonna get all the usual problems you have, which is digging it into a dirt area or using a, a uh, you know hard pot. Now, these will keep them cooler in the summer, warmer in the winter. And uh, we just can't say enough about it, but there's all kinds of uses for them. We have this tray system. You can use anything to, to put them in, but you need to put them in something to catch the water when it drains out. You don't want to waste the water. You can put them on the ground, they'll, you know, it'll drain on the ground, but you're wasting the water. We don't like to waste anything around here. So if you build the boxes, you can customize to any size you want, and we'll show you all those. Some people are using kiddie pools and they're just setting a few of these in the kiddie pools. Uh, you know, they'll pick them up really cheap, under $10. Um, you can put them in just trays. You know, we're gonna be putting these just in the maybe 10, 20 trays or any of that kind of thing. Just inexpensive. But again, if you wanna customize it, just build yourself a little box, put the liner in. And again, we're gonna show you all these videos. Now, when we go to water, Oh, by the way, it's 95 degrees outside, but we're doing this by our air conditioning. This is how we keep all of our greenhouses cool. It's just a water wall, and there's going to be there's a whole video on this, so watch for that one. All right, when it comes time to water, um, there's some systems that we've made automated. Um, it's called our hybrid system, and you'll see that on one of the videos. But most of the time, we're going to hand water this system. It's really the simplest. What we'll do, get our 27 gallon, or if you just want to use a five gallon bucket, you can do that too. Just mix your um, master blend mix into your five gallon bucket, or in my case, the 25 gallons here. And you just get them all in solution, mix them up, pour them down in. Then you will have enough that you don't have to keep mixing. It's real handy. Fill up a watering can, with your nutrient solution. Then you can come over and just water the tops. And what that'll do, that'll soak on down. It'll drain into your trough or your kiddie pool, whatever you use it, and you won't waste that water. I water this about maybe once a week. I just kind of watch the bottom. If we're going away, I'll just put extra water in. I don't have to bother the neighbors to come water my stuff. It'll just wake up. Everything's great. 
just to give you an idea, this is what it looked like six months ago when we first started this um, type of growth system. And you can see there's lots of growth going on. We've got the trees and the eggplant started. We don't waste any space. We've got herbs growing in the base of our trees. Okay, we're just going to give you an overview of what we've planted here. Um, we've actually put some chard in the bottom of one of our trees. And I've been picking this all year and it just keeps growing. Um, we've got kiwi growing. I think I made a mistake. <laughs> I should have probably put this somewhere else. It's kind of going crazy. That's only in a, a 10 gallon and a 5 gallon. Um, there's other trees. This is a this is a key lime and it's grown a ton. It was only maybe two feet when we got it just six months ago. Um, there's other orange trees in here. There's a uh, eggplant and the eggplant is doing really well. We've picked a ton of eggplant. And that one's just in a little five gallon fabric pot. All right, I mean, you can grow about anything in these fabric pots. Um, oh, check this out. Bring it, camera over here a little bit. These, this is Swiss chard. Look at the roots on this. This is like three-year-old plants, and yet it keeps growing. We keep picking this stuff, and it tastes every bit as good, but it's crazy. I've never seen this because we've never tried to grow them more than one season, but uh, the roots just keep going up. We just keep picking them. Some of the lower ones get a little bad, so what, you know? So, well, I've got the chard growing in with uh, another uh, clementine tree, okay? That one's a little younger. This one, check this out. All right, again, this is just a, a 30 gallon fabric pot. Got perlite in there. I left the, the dirt that it came with the roots on it. We bought a tree from fast growing trees. I love those guys. Anyway, this is second ear, okay? This much fruit. One behind that was a key lime. We had so many key limes off of that. So the key limes and the clementines and the oranges, the avocados, they're still, we're still, uh, jury's still out on the avocados because the production, we're not just getting the right avocado. There's different types of avocado trees. So we're just gonna try to get the right one that grows the best. Um, this one's doing really well. We had a couple avocados. We'll see how next year's crop is. Um, so that's why these videos take so long to make. We've got to wait like a year to make a video because we want to make sure things are working before we tell people. Check this out. We've got rosemary growing in with the clementine tree. Just like we had the chard growing in with that uh, fruit tree there. It's, it's just kind of cool. You can just grow whatever. Um, we're watering it just with our our master, master blend uh, triple uh, nutrient solution. Well, as promised, here's a papaya tree. And after five years, we'll see that there's really no root ball at all. It's just crazy. That's it. I'm going to probably just transplant it again, but just wanted you to see how amazing this was. The growth is amazing. Very simple. Anybody can do this. There's lots of ways to do this. We're going to have a lot of videos coming out on all the different ways. So, until next time, over now. At Complete Growing, we keep it simple, we keep it sustainable, we keep it affordable, and most of all, we keep it real. So join our growing community by subscribing and clicking on that notification bell because you don't want to miss a thing.